I just want to say, my bad. Yo, what's going on with you, YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid, guys. So, yes, I know a lot of the talks and a lot of speculations. And I know everyone, and even including myself, was talking about, yo, we're supposed to should be getting a shock drop this week. Either it was supposed to be Wednesday, Thursday, tomorrow even, possibility, maybe on the sneakers app for these reimagined bread fours but as as of right now it doesn't look too good guys it looks like we might not get a shock drop for these reimagined breads now like i said i know i made videos about it i said yo it's probably gonna be happening it's most likely gonna be happening it just kind of makes sense we saw how it was last year last year we have gotten multiple and whole bunch of shock drops and then even usually Usually years past, every big release, especially with the OG colorway with a lot of hype that's releasing around All-Star Weekend, we usually get like an early shock drop. Just saying, we usually do because there's so many pairs of these things. Nike was gonna probably just let out a little bit of pairs here and there and then have the big drop on the sneakers app when release date happens. Hey, release date is still gonna happen on February 17th. So don't worry about that. But with the whole shock drop, is not looking good it's probably not gonna happen now if it's not happening this week it is not going to happen at all so what does that mean well it probably gonna make the re release a little bit more crazier it's just gonna <laughs> cause a little bit more hype on on a release date i'm just saying on february 17th because everyone's gonna gonna need a pair i mean it's definitely giving me lost and found vibes on this release now remember the lost and founds we did not get a shock drop on these things, an uh, early shock drop. We did get EA, which I still believe, since we're not getting a shock drop for the rematch of breads, I still believe sometime at least next week, we might get EA. I have to say might now because I'm not exactly really sure, but usually we will get something kind of early. Um, there will be some type of requirements probably, you know, if you went for all the Air Jordan 4s and if you won or if you took like 10 L's on Air Jordan 4s, whatever Nike's requirements probably end up going to be. If I found out in the information, I'll definitely make a video. They'll most likely make a post on their, on the Sneakers app if they do decide to do EA. But just stay tuned for that. Most likely it, because they will do it like a week before the release date. It's usually gonna be like on a Thursday around like noon time if they were to do it. But we just have to wait and see about that. But remember, if you guys remember when these first release, the release date was crazy. The, I mean, actually some people couldn't even enter in on the sneakers app. It froze up, there was way too many people on it. Bots were going crazy. It The, the app actually crashed. It was just a horrible, awful release. I'm hoping that, you know, with a whole new update, I guess, you know, they got like a whole two years to kind of figure this all out, Nike, uh, that they won't have the app crash on the reimagined breads because the demand on these things are still up there pretty high. I'm not gonna lie, it just, you know, people's gonna want these things, you know, it's an Air Jordan 4, we had a really dry month of January, and these are actually a really good shoe, I'm not gonna lie, I've been rocking mine. I do have a personal. I've been rocking mine for a while. I actually love them. I wear it almost every single day. I plan on to. Stay tuned for that. I'll probably have like a whole wear test video on that. But yeah, it, it's a really good shoe. It really is. It's a really nice shoe. And plus Air Jordan 4s, it's, you know, it's definitely that new hype, that new wave. And it being an OG colorway and it being reimagined, there's definitely some hype for it. But again, unfortunately, not going to get a shock drop. It's probably going to get kind of crazy on release date. But they're supposedly... There's going to be about, say, like 500,000 pairs. And I'm pretty sure that includes like men's sizes, taller sizes, GS sizes, and preschool sizes. That's going to be spread worldwide. So just be prepared for that. On release date on Sneakers app, I already made a video about this, but they will have a big stock numbers. On the Sneakers app alone, about 200,000 pairs, which sounds like a lot, but it's kind of not with the demand that we're having because you guys already know. Everybody's gonna go for these pairs and everybody's gonna at least want multiple pairs. Like people are not gonna just want get one pair and you're gonna get all the moms, the old heads, the, you know, everybody coming out, the resellers, all that. Just everybody's gonna try to go for these reimagined breads. It just kind of is what it is. But it just seems like a decent amount of stock. So just stay tuned for that. I mean, 20,000 pairs per size basically 
on the Secrets app, it's a pretty good, decent size number. So, but again, they're also gonna be everywhere. They're gonna be at your DSGs. They're gonna be at your JD Sports. They're gonna be at your Foot Lockers, your Champs. They're gonna be basically everywhere. So you're definitely gonna still wanna put some footwork in to cop, you know? Do not just rely on Sneakers app, wake up on Saturday morning and think you're gonna hit. Don't do that if you really want these pairs. I mean, if you don't care, then yeah, then it's all good. But if you really want this pair, you're gonna have to put a little bit of footwork in I know a lot of shoes has been sitting as lately and going under retail, but for this shoe, it's not gonna be the same story. If we're talking about resale wise, I mean, the resale kinda is like, you know, depending on sizes, like, you know, smaller sizes are around that mid 300s right now, and the bigger sizes are around that high 300s to like low 400s. I mean, that's a pretty good, you know, that's, that's pretty good numbers for, you know, a big GR like this. Will these numbers hold up? I think once it all settles down and we kind of just wait it out, I still think it's gonna be at least a $300 shoe. May, you know, maybe even like the really small sizes, like a size eight and seven and a half, they might go to like high 200s, you know, kind of wishful thinking. But it's probably gonna stay around 300s and the bigger sizes stay around that mid 300s. I think that's where they're gonna probably stay at. Remember these things retail at 215 plus tax. You're looking like 230, 240. Nowadays, that's pretty expensive for a Jordan, you know, shoes. You know, there's gonna be a lot of pairs out there, so you know people are gonna be dumping pairs and you might be able to get a good price on it, but still, yes, the shoe will have resell on these things. The demand on these things are gonna be crazy. Um I'm expected to be semi kind of like a lost and found. It feels like a lost and found type of vibe. Like I haven't felt on a hype, you know, hype on a shoe in a long time since I want to say the lost and founds. I mean, that was the last time we've seen a really hype GR Jordan shoe. I mean, all of 2023, basically almost every single shoe was basically sitting. I mean, you could say the reimagined threes were a little hyped up, you know, I mean, those were pretty good too, but it wasn't all that crazy compared to like something like this and also the loss and founds. But yeah, unfortunately guys, looks like we're not gonna get a shock drop. So you know what? I can admit when I'm wrong and I have been wrong before and it probably won't be the last time, you know? But I feel like I've been a little bit more right than I've been wrong, you know? And again, when I make these videos guys, I really just wanna just help you guys out. I wanna give you guys the information so you guys can get ready. I prepared you guys all last year and told you whenever a shock drop happened, and if it did happen, that way I can help you guys out. You know, it definitely helps out. You know, it feels good when people comment like, hey, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to cop. And you know, that's why I make these videos because I want to help you guys out, you know? So again, I apologize guys if I'm wrong. It just happens guys, you know? You know, I can definitely admit, you know, I got to man up. You know, when, sometimes, when you're wrong, you're wrong. And you know, you got to just take it like a man and it just is what it is. Um, again, just want to say I apologize guys if I stir you the wrong way. Uh, just like I said, I just hear the information and let you guys know. And if it doesn't end up being correct, I just gotta let you guys know also that it's not right. I mean, but at the end of the, you know, like I said, in almost every shock drop video, at the end of the day, Nike can end up doing whatever they want. You know, they can pull it back, they can shock drop it. Matter of fact, they can shock drop it at 6 a.m. on a Sunday if they really want to. Nike can do whatever they want. And maybe they know, I think Nike knows, even if the reimagined breads do not shock drop and when it comes release date, they know that these things are going to sell out no matter what. It just doesn't matter. And I was thinking in 2024 that maybe Nike's switching things up. Maybe they did too many shock drops last year. So they're gonna cut things back and they're like, you know what? We're only gonna shock drop certain things because last year was a lot of shock drops. Like we really don't get shock drops like that, but Maybe things are switching up, I don't know. Nike can do whatever they want, it does not matter. And just for the record, because uh, I mean, not to say that I was wrong or right, or I'm, 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 I know everything, I don't wanna talk like that, but I did say in a couple of weeks ago that there was gonna be exclusive access, that's what I was hearing, and I wasn't sure if, that we weren't gonna get a shock drop, but we were definitely gonna get EA, because I didn't hear nothing about a shock drop, but I've been hearing a lot about EA. Um, again, Hey, it is what it is. I'm still wrong at the end of the day. I still said that I, there's probably gonna have a shock drop this week and it's probably most likely not gonna happen. So, hey, I'll take the L. It's all right, y'all wanna put in the comments and say that I suck and I'm wrong. It's okay, man, I gotta take it, man. That, that's on me, that's my fault. But you know what? 
we'll do this since it was my fault guys and I, I did say there was gonna be a shock drop and there's no shock drop I'll do this right if you guys can get this video up to at least a thousand likes a thousand likes guys we'll do a giveaway we'll do a giveaway on the reimagined breads to you guys man why not hey it's been a minute since we did a big giveaway we need to do a giveaway for the reimagined breads i gotta show love to you guys you guys been with me for for a minute now and i just want to say i appreciate y'all thank you guys so so much man we gotta do it for for the one we gotta do it guys we gotta do it man and just help me out just a little bit just you know hit that little thumb that thumbs up that like button it's free you know it's free to hit that thumbs up and just want to say thank you guys at the end of the day i appreciate y'all i do love y'all hey guys just want to say again i just want to say i apologize guys if i was wrong and i stir you guys the wrong way you know hey you know we're only human you know anyway guys just want to say i appreciate y'all i love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Jeremy Chris and IG, sometimes on Twitter, and don't forget Snapchat. I'm also on TikTok. Anyway, guys, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. I'm Jeremy Chris. Peace.